Well, I had planned on going to the bay today around 11.30 or 12. Tide's low at like 2. It's a 9.54 right now. You can see it's 57, but you can't see that it's raining. You can see it if you can see this rain falling in this screen thing I got here, but not raining hard. But we got some breeze. And we got some leaves popping out on the fig tree. You probably can't see them either. It's not raining hard, but it's just raining enough to be miserable. I'm gonna cut the grass too, I haven't done that yet. This is actually mostly weeds right now. Stand by. And thank you, Bob, for those clams. I'm gonna to have to come make a road trip and help you catch some of them on the shores of Atlantic City. <coughs> well, Richard just called me. He's already there. He just got there. But he's sitting in his truck waiting for the rain to drop off a little bit. And you, can, you can't tell it, but it is has actually dropped a little bit which is good I was just at the 7-eleven right there buying a lotto ticket that's where we're going right there on the right and there's Richard in that big four-door Ford won't be any candy today no ski babies on the beach Here's Mr. Richard right there. We got beach access right here. Can't beat it, other than the rain. Right here in this big field right here is where they moved the uh, East Beach Farmer's Market to, where I used to work. It's a big pie-shaped field in this condominium complex of East Beach. You remember a couple of years ago, we were inside in a big park in the middle. We were there from 2012 through 2016 or 17. Then they moved us out on the street. And they moved us a little bit north on the street. And then they moved us off. Well, I haven't been here. I haven't never been here because I stopped going when they moved us over here. Not because of the location, but because of the hours changed. But this is a rough spot, buddy. When the wind comes off this beach through these condominiums, they suffer here with their tents and everything when the weather's bad in the wintertime. Other than that, it's a hell of a spot. Lots of parking, lots of big room you can stretch out. People like it. The vendors like it here. Except when the weather's windy and cold. Okay, you can see from my windshield that I haven't wiped them in a few minutes that it's not very thick here yet. There's Richard right there coming up to see what's going on. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. Right here. The mountain man. Fifteen. 
think it should be this deep though. Got it. 1416, might be a bottle cap. Our buddy, Mr. Beaver, is back in town now. He's been on some special duty stuff, but he's back. He went to, uh, he went where I went yesterday. He goes in the nighttime. So he went last night to Mex to Gray Matter City and he went to the Land of Nada. And the best of it was two hose nozzles. One hose nozzle in each spot. You know, you put on any your hose, you squeeze the handle for the water come out. I don't know what he's got planned today, but at least he's home. We'll get some better reports. If I got, if I can think about it, I'll add the picture to the back of what he did last night. First day, first day out with my uh, Tony uh, headphones. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a good day for him today. You couldn't get the other ones wet. Oh, rough as bricks. Rough as bricks. Pretty bleak, pretty bleak. I got uh you saw the bottle cap. I got two little teeny pieces of something, maybe a back off of ear ring. Now, I don't know what the other piece is, but teeny. I get back to you. Well it looks pretty good right beyond that little slope right there, but I can't get in there. Way is too big. You see there's a few rocks all around here, but no targets. But it looks interesting right now. Maybe the next day or two. I'm gonna turn around here and go back. Well, I moved up high here in this little rock zone, right up under the dune. I got a penny and a nickel in uh, 12 feet. So maybe this, maybe the big waves in wintertime pushed a few things up here. We'll keep, we'll keep seeing how it goes. I got a couple coins. I got a couple coins, a uh, bullet, a bunch of trash. It's kind of bleak. The rain has stopped anyway. There's some nice looking places up that way. There's a nice little trough that gets off like that, but it's too rough to get in there. But it looks nice. You see these breakers? Is that what causes these uh, half yeah. moon shapes? Yeah. Yeah. This used to be all straight. This is one of the best spots we had right through here when that. You know, in the late late 80s and 90s, this is a hot spot. But there wasn't no rocks, it was just a straight, you know, it was straight dead, right. no jetties, none of that stuff. They had the wooden ones, the piers, I mean, the, you know, what do you call them? 
So is this has this beach been replenished? Yeah. Yeah. You can find some things out right in the middle of those holes, you know, in the summertime. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, wintertime. I think I'm going the hell out of here. Huh? I think I'm going out of here. Kind of bleak. We'll see what tomorrow brings. <laughs>